Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to share with you guys what I think could be a decluttering mistake that people may be making. I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to show you a few things. Okay, I have been following Clutterbug, her decluttering September challenge. And what I've been doing now in October is I spend five minutes every day and I pick an area to declutter. And I may not have to declutter that much. I also have a day where I'm doing digital declutter. That means going through emails and things like that. So I figure if I do it every day, if I miss a day, no big deal. But I was doing it once a week, but I really like the idea of being in a habit of just spending five minutes a day. Well, here's the mistake that I think some people could make, and I could see how we could be enthusiastic and start doing this. We start going through our stuff, and then we just start going, oh, I haven't used this in a while. We start decluttering it and putting it in our donation bin or whatever you're doing, selling it, throwing it away. Well, one of the things that I'm doing is I am really looking at the item, whether it's a piece of clothing or I'm going to give you an example. I found a bunch of these wax melts. I hadn't used these in a long time, and I thought, I'm not going to just throw these away. So what I did is I started using them. I found a chaffle maker. I started using it and making chaffles, you know, and I'm just because you have something you haven't used doesn't mean that we should donate it right away. For example, I've got lots of cookbooks and I wasn't using them. Here's one of my favorites, Dining on a Dime. I love this cookbook and I hadn't used it in a while for some reason. Well, so what I did is I took out the cookbook and I started making some of the recipes again. And so I've been doing that with all these items and then also, and I just brought out a few couple clothes, there were a few pair pieces of clothing that were kind of stuck together. I did go through and donate a few, but I thought, you know what, I just am rotating this. So what I do with my closets is I rotate. So the bottom line is, I'm keeping this video nice and short, it's wonderful to declutter, but I think many times when we have things hidden away in closets and drawers, we forget about them. I know it's not fabulous to have everything sitting out on a counter. I know that that can get kind of cluttered, and I know that my home is kind of cluttered. But when we put it away, we can sometimes forget about it. And then what ends up happening is you just go and you donate it, and then you end up needing that item. And I've had this happen where I donate something, and then I decide, why did I donate that? I would sure could use that now. And so before you donate things, use them. And then after using them, if you decide, hey, this isn't meeting my needs, I really don't like this that much, then donate it. And I'll give you an example, which I don't have this to show you because I gave it to a friend. A long time ago, I had this apple core thing, and you would turn the handle. It was difficult to use. It was difficult to clean. I didn't like it. And so I took it out. I thought, I haven't even used this yet. I started using it. I didn't like it. I gave it to a friend. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm using everything I have for a while first. I did that with my waffle maker. I hadn't used that in a while. I started making waffles again. So before donating stuff, use it first, unless you know for sure you won't use it. Then decide, is this something I want to keep? It's kind of like going to the store and getting new things. Because when things are set aside and you know cupboards are closed or closets are closed or boxes are sealed up, you forget about some of the things you have. That's why I do think decluttering five minutes every single day, doing one little area, going around your house and doing different, what I call zones, every day rather than once a week, you're gonna be amazed at how much stuff you have and you'll be spending less money because it's almost like you know the holidays again because you're like, wow, I forgot I had this. So before donating things, you may wanna use it first See if you like it or love it. If not, then donate it. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye, everybody.